need to just Welcome back to Colorado's Best. For the last few weeks, we've been featuring some of Colorado's best inventors, and you wouldn't believe how many people have come up with great ideas and products along the front range. Well, one of them is 82 years young. You're young. He is a retired rocket scientist who has a huge fan base of local teachers, and I think kids too, the way that you're dressed. Joining me now is Frank Armbruster. You are a local inventor. I love you. You're like, oh, you're all smiles. Thank smile. you for that beautiful introduction. Oh, you know, and you told me that you're otherwise known as Rainbow Man. Rainbow Man, the mm -hmm. colorful math magician. Now, I know you didn't dress up like this just for me today. What is this about? What is this get up? What are you trying to achieve with this? I like to go in the classroom and be the center of attention for a little while. Yes. And I do some magic, and I show the children the mathematics and the science behind the mathics, the magic that I do. I don't, I don't just make magic a mystery for the children. Uh -huh. I show them the, the gimmicks that, that is science and mathematics behind Yes. Um, your coworker, your colleague, was telling me that you go into a school and, and open kids' minds to creativity and inventing their own things. And we're going to show some inventions of yours in just a minute. But is that what you want to achieve with kids? That's exactly what I want to. And I want to teach teachers to do some of the same kind of magic. So. I'll teach a, a, magic, a magic effect to the uh -huh. children, and then I'll also teach another one to the teacher. To the teacher. Yeah, because I bet the kids love that. <laughs> I, want to have, I would like to have a thing ultimately where there is Monday morning magic for oh. school teachers, where I, and I'm documenting a lot of my yeah. magic for them so that the teacher can actually become a magician at the same time and do the okay. same thing I do and say, okay, today's lesson is about this, and we saw how the magic works. Right, there. right. Okay, so... You help teachers out with these inventions. We're going to start with the Logan hook, and you're going to explain to me. We have a picture also that kind of explains what this does. These are uh, magnets. Yeah, there are two of them there. This is, this is one. Mm -hmm. Teachers like to decorate their classroom. Right. They have a very limited amount of space, mm -hmm. but the ceiling is available. Oh, and so teachers genius. can use the ceiling. They hang things on here. Yeah touch it up against the grid on uh -huh. the ceiling, which is magnetically receptive, take the yardstick down, and they can decorate the class without standing on the desk. Yeah, and there, there are little holes and hooks here, so teachers can hang snowflakes, sunshines, oh, rainbows. Solar system, a, a word of the day, birthday cards, Christmas cards, anything of that sort. Oh, I love that Very one. Very quick. Even the children can decorate their own classroom now. Hey, I'm going to take that to my daughter's classroom. Okay, now the same kind of concept with this clock. You said the clock is always in one place, but the teacher can't always see it. The architects put a clock in every classroom, mm -hmm. but they don't always put it where it's convenient for the teacher. Okay. And, of course, for me, too, when I do a lecture, I, usually the clock is behind me. Okay. So I can put this on the ceiling in similar fashion and aim it any direction, put it any height that I want it, and actually... Sh so let's turn that around. So that would hang yeah. off of the ceiling anywhere where the, the teacher yeah, wants it. We have a picture somewhere of that uh, yeah, in, we're in show use a in one of my of that. classrooms mm -hmm. that, that I do for the senior center. Love that. Okay, and it just saves space too. I think I need one of those in my house. I can never see my clock. Okay, we're going to move on to the Pika Bird. This is my favorite just because I think if my daughter had this in her classroom, she would not be paying attention to math. This goes against the window, right? Yes. From the outside, faces in. That's right. And then what happens? Well, when you put this on the classroom window, mm -hmm. it's open on the back end. Okay. The mother bird can then come in and build a nest, raise the chicks, and the children right can here. watch from inside the, the raising of the, of the bird family. Yeah, and Frank, I need to mention, this is made out of cardboard, cardboard not for, you know, snowy weather. And so you are making it with another type this, of material This is now. weather tight. And the neat thing about this is that it will take acrylic paint so the children can decorate it uh, <sighs> themselves so it looks like whatever kind of house they want. Rainbow Man, I can tell you love children. Okay, and as we're finishing up, I've been told that you always have something in your pockets for always the kids, the adults. What do you have for me today? Um, here's a little thing <laughs> called Indian Babies. Okay. That's a giveaway <laughs> what else? trick. What else is in there? <laughs> Well, let's see, this uh, This has become my signature trick. This is the, uh, it's called Ringus, Ding. open that up. Here, I'll open that up. If I can, Frank, I don't know if I can get that open. Okay, yep, I'm gonna bring it out. Got it? Yep. This is, it's, this is the thing that the children remember me, I think, for the most, most of. Now that's an ordinary, an okay, ordinary kind of Okay, we got a few seconds, so show me, show me real quick what let's it does. Let's use this one, okay. And I talk about the magic of, Newton's laws 
Yes. And I lower the chain through the ring. Then I drop the ring so that it ties itself in a knot in the bottom of the chain. I bet the kids love that. Okay. Would that be good magic yes. if I could really do that? I'm going to have to book you for my daughter's uh, class. I love that. You are a magician. Thank you, Frank, for coming on with us. And thank you for wearing that colorful outfit. You my, my pleasure. Day. Well, for more information on Frank's inventions, call 720-363-0303. Or you can visit Frank's website at armbruster.com puzzles.com and a lot of his things are available at the school supply stores. Now if you've got a great idea for a product, visit inventorsroundtable.com. They've helped dozens of local inventors successfully enter the marketplace over the last six years. They meet every month in Denver, Loveland, and Colorado Springs and they also travel around the state and hold inventor boot camps like Frank did. All right, thanks Frank. Coming up on Colorado's Best Weather You Watch